Hi, I'm Vidal with the Skylum Education Team, and in this video, I'll show you how to selectively apply the photo filter to easily change eyes to any color. Now, teaching the concept of global versus local change. As a bonus, we'll build upon a previous lesson to produce a painterly effect for an additional option. Let's get started. The first step is to apply the photo filter to the entire image. Adjust the amount slider to 100%. Now this is known as a global change. Notice how the entire image was affected. As you can see, this is very distracting. I just want to apply the effect to the eyes. So let's apply a filter mask and keep the effect local. Click the brush symbol next to the filter and select brush. Choose Paint and set the opacity to 100%. Adjust the brush size to match the iris. Use keyboard shortcuts in the left or right bracket key. Now paint over the iris. Avoid painting on the pupil or the catch lights. Use Erase to paint out the effect. This looks good. Click the Done button to apply the filter mask. Now that the change is applied locally, Let's adjust the iris color. So move the U slider and select a color. There's the green I like. Here's blue, purple. Oh, I like that green. The amount slider is going to lower the effect and that's going to bring back some of the blue. Saturation is going to make the image appear darker or lighter. Make sure you select yes to preserve luminosity. Now let's compare the original to the edited version. As you can see, this was easy, but keep in mind, if you have to edit multiple images, this gets kind of old. Now personally, if the subject wanted their eye color changed on multiple images, I would either charge them an extra fee or suggest they buy color contact lenses. Now as a bonus, Let's apply the painterly effect technique that was taught in a previous video to this image. Scroll through the filter catalog to the creative filters and apply a texture overlay filter. Now load a texture, now change the amount to 100% and change the filter blend mode to soft light. Now again, this is a global change. Now let's apply a local change by adding another filter mask. Click Erase. Let's set a low opacity. Now let's paint out areas around the eyes and the face. It's looking good. Great. Now click the Done button to apply the filter mask. Now if you don't like where the texture is falling on the subject, you can experiment with the zoom slider and this will adjust the texture, making it larger or smaller. Great. Now let's compare the different images. Here's the original. Here's changing the eye color to green. And now here's adding a texture or a painterly effect. So by understanding the concept of global versus local change, we were able to apply the photo filter to easily change eyes to any color and then using the texture overlay filter from a previous lesson, we were able to create a painterly effect that will look great when printed on canvas. Now, Skylump is dedicated to education, so if you have questions about this technique or a technique you would like to learn, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to this Skylump channel to get the latest videos tips, and photography inspiration each week. Well, I'm Vanelli for the Skylum Education Team. Thanks for watching.